Hi, I'm Johan Emesh and I'm back with my AQM35 Pro from Skywatcher. A friend of mine from Instagram, Florian, asked me if I can show him how easy, how uh, uh, stiff is my uh, uh, declination axis and my uh, LA axis while I will move them without uh, my AD80 telescope mounted. Uh, he has some uh, problems uh, with balancing the AQM35 Pro. Also he wrote me that uh, the air axis is very stiff. So I decided to uh, make this short video to uh, show him uh, how I will uh, move the air axis and declination with this model that I uh, currently have without uh, having a telescope mounted. So I hope uh, this video will help you. And if others do have this problem, hope this uh, will be useful. So uh, if I remove the clutch here, you see it's uh, very easy to to move it even without the telescope. I already I did move it in one of my uh, videos from for the AQM35 Pro review while I did the polar align. But if I leave it like this, it will. Uh, go down. So uh, it's, uh, uh, it's looser than uh, at the moment I bought this mount. It had more grease uh, inside and uh, because of that it was a little bit harder also to move and also to see if it's uh, uh, to assume the perfect balance in L axis. So it was a little stiffer at the beginning. Now, after uh, some of the grease went off, actually it, uh, you can uh, move it a little easier than before. So, I'm not sure exactly what the problem the AQM35 Pro, uh, the model of the AQM35 Pro has, uh, that uh, the axis will be very stiff and will be hard to move. Uh, it could be the grease or the lack of grease, I, I, I don't know, here with less grease it can move uh, faster, so it can move, you can move the air axis actually easier than when I bought the mount. So uh, the friction, not an expert on, on the friction, but uh, it, you can uh, easily move on my model after half a year you can easily move the air axis and also the declination axis it is a little stiffer and a little harder to rotate in the declination axis but this did not uh, it was not a problem when I had to balance it I will move it 360 degrees ah. ok so uh, what I noticed the declination axis it is a little bit more uh, stiffer than uh, uh, the air axis, so with the air axis it's even easier to move around and I can move it like this 360 without having any problems ok so uh, I did not regress it uh, I might next year if it, uh, I heard it is recommended uh, to also put more grease on it after the time. I uh, did not uh, do a lot of research on it yet because uh, I recently bought it for about, yeah, recently, it's, it's about six and a half uh, months. So I did not have uh, any problems with, uh, with the tracking or, uh, or moving the array or declination axis. 
Also, Flo, hope this uh, video helped helped you. I'm not sure uh, exactly what is uh, the problem uh, with the, your uh, AQM35 Pro, but uh, uh, I hope you'll uh, figure it out. And if you can't uh, solve it by yourself, maybe uh, uh, send it uh, to, uh, for repairs on the store that you bought it. I hope this video was helpful and uh, if you like this video and want to see more uh, reviews and also tutorials, please uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon in my next video.